So three two-minute rounds. Matthews in the red corner. Chukas in the blue. Aggressive early start from Chukas. Chukas with a low front hand. Blind jabs coming up, blind uppercuts. Matthews just taking a second to figure out what he's dealing with. Always hard to figure out your opponent's timing and speed, especially when those jabs, as you say, coming from the hip, just out of eye line. Ooh, and a lead right hand, just missed the target from Ducas. He's got considerable hand speed for a big man. He's making Matthews think in this opening minute. Sharp right hand to the body. Uh, Matthews looks relaxed. This looks like it's going to be a really good fight. Um, Ducas showing their greater speed. Matthews just taking his time to figure out how he's going to um, attack this. As you say, Matthews really seems to be using this opening minute or so as a, as a data gathering exercise. Doesn't throw much in the way of offense. But he's trying to measure Ducas's timing, speed and range and just wonder whether he'll open up before the end of this round. Short left jab to the body from Matthews. Just clip with a long left hook though. For a heavyweight fight, this is definitely a big chess game. And good to see as well. Often can just be meet in the middle and slug away. But nice to see a bit of tactics in there for the big men. Just brief uh, respite in proceedings, but an interesting opening round this. Just a lot of jab exchanges now. That's a lot of speed in that first round. And um, I would have given that first round to Chukas just for having the, um, the overall hand speed. And he, uh, he, he caught him with a few more jabs. Interesting to see how this one progresses. So they touch gloves, second round of three. Troy Matthews in the red, Chukas, Janos Chukas in the blue. Chukas coming out, the, the aggressor, uh, throwing some leather straight away. Matthews just again tucking up and uh, figuring out what he's going to do with this round. It just seemed that uh, Matthews was starting to look at counters to the single shots. And so Chukas has found an ailment to that by throwing a lot more volume, really upping his work rate. And Matthews is covering up, looks fairly comfortable. Nice head movement from him. But he's being made to work and Ducas again forcing the issue, even if some of those were missing. He's the man who's dominating. Matthews, Matthews is doing a good job of making Ducas miss. And I have a feeling that he might puff himself out. He needs to be sensible about he's, he's missing with a lot of shots. And Matthews might come on stronger later on in the round. So the two now back in the centre. Back to the pattern as it was beginning of the first round. Uh, Matthews looking for a bit of offense, jab to the body. Chukas has taken some big deep breaths now. This is the time where Matthews can step up and the speed of Chukas won't be so much of a factor. And again, Chukas has bustled Matthews onto the ropes, throws six or seven without reply, but really not making considerable contact with any of them. It's good defensive now shown by Matthews. He looks clear-headed, just clipped by a left hook there. Was he hurt by that? The right uppercut comes in too. I think Matthews just got caught with a left hook there and uh, it did rock him a little bit. Before we had time to find out, the round has come to a close. So, really interesting one developing here. It's all Ducas in terms of the volume and the punches thrown, but Matthews making him miss. But you do feel that if Matthews is to get a foothold in this, he's going to have to... Let's get behind your fighter! I hope you're enjoying the action so far. Round three hit. Troy Matthews in the red corner versus Janos Zhukas. In the black shorts with the red gloves in the blue corner. 
Chukas coming out quick again with a couple of jabs. Not as fast as the first two rounds. But Matthew's still there, guard tight, and trying to pick him off. Three clubbing right hands to the body without reply, or oh, the referee has interpreted that as just hitting round the back a little bit. So, just a warning for Jukas. Matthews is definitely still in this fight, but I do feel like he's going to need to start throwing some more punches. Again, no question. No question mark over his ability to make Ducas miss. Well, that's better from him. Just lands a one-two of his own. But it is important that Matthews finishes this final round strongly. The referee just telling the uh, chaps to watch, watch the heads. Again, good body work from Ducas. Great head movement from Matthews again there, dodging a few shots. He just needs to follow that up with a few punches. Uh, Gumshield has come out. Break for a second. So third and final round just drawing to a close and there is the final bell. Will Matthews' lack of offensive activity count against him? Will it be Jukas' activity that has snuck him very close? After six minutes of action, the decision is a unanimous one in favour of the fighter in the blue corner. Yes!